Hey, and welcome to Downey Live. I'm Michael. I want to say right off the bat that quite a few of you have joined in the last month and a half or so, and I really want to say welcome. And to all of you that have been with me since the beginning or even just a long time, thank you. It really means a lot, and it means we can do a whole lot more with more of you here. So, with the new year, new you mentality, I thought we could get to know each other, and I really want to let you guys know who I am. So first of all, I'm Michael Downey, hence why it's called Downey Live. I'm 31 years old and I am born and raised right here in Vancouver, Canada. And this is my elementary school. But the coolest story I have from being here as a student was in grade seven, my last year at elementary school, the administration came around to all the classrooms and handed out these papers with these circles on it and they said draw whatever you want in the circles but they didn't tell us why. And then the administration announced that the winning design would be a permanent mosaic out front of the school. And that face is my drawing. And then each grade got to build a different part of this. So I actually helped put the rocks in the nose segment here. Anyway, it was right after that that I then retired from mosaic artistry. <laughs> Through high school, I played a lot of sports, spent a lot of time at this ice rink playing ice hockey, and out on an artificial turf like this playing field hockey. Yes, I played field hockey, a lot of it. But where I used to have the most fun was here at high school. Actually, it was, it was right there, but they've since renovated the school and that wing doesn't exist anymore, but it was in the TV productions class. Shout out to Mr. Scott. It was a course where they taught us everything we needed to know about making videos and making movies. And we started with these massive cameras that took VHS tapes in it to record. And we did have assignments and stuff like that, but essentially it was an excuse for me to make videos with two of my best friends, Torben and Ben. And look how young we were. Let's see if we caught them. Go, go, go. Damn it! No, I didn't hear. Well, I couldn't go the bar. Look, you get the car, I'll go around back. We would spend so much time on these videos. We'd be up all night editing. We'd be working on effects to get these like bullets right. or we'd be working on the titling sequence, which was all manual, so you can see the, the spacing isn't quite right. But it didn't matter, we were just having so much fun. We weren't, we weren't half bad at it. A lot of people asked me if I wanted to go to film school after high school, and I, I didn't. I didn't want to be a cameraman or editing someone else's movies, so instead, I went to business school. Here, at BCIT. But if I'm honest, I didn't like it. Uh, the people were great and the program was fantastic. I just hated being in school. There was so much more I wanted to do. So I took a job with an experiential marketing agency as the operations manager for Western Canada. It's a mouthful, I know, but I loved the job. Thought I was pretty good at it and did it for two and a half years until I got laid off. No hard feelings. The company had to downsize, I get it. But I now had some money in my account and a whole lot of time to figure out what I actually wanted to do. Look at this, look how nice Vancouver is. So I did whatever someone in my position would have done. I went traveling and I filmed everything. I went traveling, Thailand solo. I went on a trip with one of my best friends, Torben from film class. And just like back in the good old days, we filmed the whole trip. And when I got back, I spent all my evenings editing these videos. And it was at the same time that I came across YouTubers and travel vloggers and realizing that you could kind of make this into a business. I want to give a shout out to Las LeBlanc, who is sort of the first travel vlogger I came across and he's another Vancouverite. He was about my same age and he, he made a great video outlining how he quit his job and made this a full-time job as a YouTuber. And I went, okay, this is the plan. And so that brings us to two years ago when I started this channel. And I took a job that I really didn't like but I did that to pay the bills. And after a year of working and YouTubing, I only had 1,600 subscribers. And I realized two things. One, it's very difficult to start a YouTube channel from scratch. And two, I needed to put more time and more energy if I wanted to make this a success. So I straight up walked out of my job one Thursday afternoon. Dave, I'm very sorry for doing that. I apologize, but I do not regret it. 
And ever since then, I've been a full-time YouTuber. And now, it's 2019, two years later. We're still here, and I'm so excited to show you what I have in store for us this year. But first, I wanna know two things from you, please. In the comments, let me know, A, where you're watching from, where are you right now, and two, what videos you wanna see more of this year, the adventure vlogs or the behind the scenes videos. Either way, I don't know where I'm going next, but I want you there with me. So thank you so much for watching, subscribing, sharing, all of that. I can feel it. 2019 is gonna be great. Happy New Year's.